A former girlfriend of R. Kelly taking the stand in the singer's federal trial in Chicago. And we want to warn you, some of the testimony is disturbing. CBS 2's Tara Molina continues to bring us the latest on the case from the courtroom. Tara, emotional testimony today. Jim and Marie, emotional and disturbing. Like we said, we want to warn you about that again. Lisa Van Allen, not only involved in the child pornography charges in this case, but also the obstruction of justice charges. Since she took a tape up from Kelly of her and an underage girl and ultimately was paid by his team to get that tape back. Van Allen taking the stand in day nine of the trial, testifying on the sexual contact she had with Kelly and an underage girl, Jane, often getting emotional, detailing ultimately moving to Chicago from Atlanta to be with him. That's when she says Kelly brought Jane into their sexual relationship starting in 1998. Lisa was 18 at the time. She said Kelly told her Jane was 16 and his neighbor. The three had sex. She says Kelly recorded in different parts of his house. Van Allen later detailing and questioning a moment years later that had an effect on her when Jane told her, quote, that she would get a PT cruiser on her 16th birthday. She says it was two years after their first threesome, and it's when she first realized she was 14. She had to be 14. Van Allen said she never wanted to take part in the threesomes, but once she learned Jane's real age, she says it stopped. Van Allen later took a tape of the three of them from Kelly and sent it out of state, getting emotional again later in testimony when speaking about efforts she was paid for by Kelly's team to get that tape back. She said Kelly's former manager said they should have murked me from the beginning, crying as she later said, I never knew they were thinking about killing me. Defense attorneys drilling into discrepancies and what Van Allen has said on the record under oath and even on the docu-series Surviving R. Kelly, at times questioning if the emotion she showed during her testimony was real. You can find more information on that, the testimony here today, and the trial from the very beginning in this story on our website right now. Reporting inside the federal courthouse, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.